Thank you for joining us here at the Solano College Sports Network studio. I'm your host, Ty Reese, and we're joined with a very special guest today, Steve Barnett, MMA promoter, here promoting his new up-and-coming fight card on March 10th at the Solano County Fairgrounds. How are you doing today, Steve? Good, how are you? Good, good. So, how did you get started in martial arts? Well, when I was a kid, I uh, watched a lot of Bruce Lee movies and stuff. Now, <laughs> I wanted to be a tough guy. You know, everybody want, every every young Always. man wants to be a tough guy. So it's like, so I I, uh, I started taking kung fu for about six months. But you know, at the time of my life, it was too long of a drive to go, you know, train and stuff. And so I just kind of backed away from it for a little while. And then when the then the Ultimate Fights came on TV, I'm like, wow, this is really cool. These guys are. They're real tough guys, you know, and right. I started watching Ken Shamrock and Hoist Gracie. Okay. And so, well, you know, one thing led to another, and I ended up meeting one of uh, Ken Shamrock's family members, and so I kind of uh, started wrestling with them, and, and then I started, I met one of their one of their top fighters, and he's been in Napa ever since, and so I've been training under him. His name is Jerry Bolander from the Lion's Den. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very awesome. That yeah. must have been a wild experience meeting some of those yeah. Those fighters. Yeah, I've, I've met a lot of uh, a lot of uh, the originals. Okay, and I guess get kind of piggyback on that question. As an up and coming fighter, or even today, were some of those guys that you really inspired you to become a fighter? Was Kim Shamrock and Horace Gracie, or was there any other specific guys you really looked up to? You know. Uh, Ken Shamrock and Hoist Gracie are true. The, they're like the fathers of MMA. They are the the true. They, they're they're the guys. They're the, they're the man. Yeah, they they're it. You know, when it comes to the MMA world, it's like they are the two guys that paved the way for all the upcoming fighters and stuff. And it's like you know, I I give them a lot of respect for where they came from and how the MMA world's evolved to where it is today. Okay, very nice. And for anyone who does want to get into MMA or martial arts, is there, I know you have a gym in Napa, California, you did say, uh, is there a way that people can get in touch with you or where your gym is located? Yeah, my gym's name's uh, uh, Napa Valley MMA. We have a Facebook page. So we don't really, uh, we don't really advertise too much because uh, we do it, um, we don't really make a lot of money at it. It's not really for, for profit as far as like regular business goes. We do it because we love the sport. The as, long as, we, as long as we pay for uh, as long as we pay rent, we don't care. <laughs> you know, we just have a small group of guys and, and girls that train. Um, but we do it because we love it. Nice, just for the love. Very nice. And for my final question, as being a jiu-jitsu practitioner and, and grappler, there's always been a very long controversy of wrestlers versus jiu-jitsu practitioners is which one's superior which one's better what's your take on that well jiu-jitsu is basically it's 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 wrestling it's 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 wrestling you know the difference between like traditional folk wrestling and uh, and uh, and jiu-jitsu is um, jiu-jitsu incorporates submissions and you you can attack off your back wrestling you don't ever want to be on your back because of right. the point system. Um, but once wrestlers learn submissions, then it's a total different game. Okay. You know, so it's you know it's one and the same, but different. Different. Okay. Yeah. They're both great sports. They're both there's a lot of greatness in it. everything I do Each is based one. off wrestling. Okay. Um, you know, it's called you know submission wrestling. So it's uh, it's all great. I do ju I do gi jiu jitsu a couple days a week, and then I do uh, MMA a couple a few, like three days a week. Very nice, good, important to have a well-balanced background of everything. Yeah. Well, per that's going to be it for us today. Again, our host Steve Barnett. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host Ty Reese, and at the Solano College Sports Network Studio.